Hi, I'm Kevin Vincent. I am the John and Mary Lou Dasberg Chair in Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation at the University of Florida. I also currently serve as one of the American College of Sports Medicine Vice Presidents. It is truly an honor for me to be sitting here and have the opportunity to serve the college. When I entered graduate school with Priscilla Clarkson over 20 years ago, this became a dream of mine. Subsequently working with Mike Pollack here at the University of Florida, I developed a deep love and appreciation for the college and its mission. So this has been a dream of mine that I've been trying to pursue for almost 20 years, so it is certainly my honor to be talking to you today. I've had the opportunity to serve the college in multiple different capacities. I currently serve as one of the vice presidents and have also served on the board of trustees. I served on the medical education committee, the program planning committee, and the research committee. I worked as the topical representative for clinical medicine and athlete care, and have served on three presidential task forces. The greatest strength of ACSM are its members. The membership represents a diverse group of people across both global and cultural aspects, as well as multiple disciplines that are represented. Within ACSM, we have basic and applied scientists, population and public health, nutrition, clinical care, including medicine, physical therapy, athletic trainers, and nutrition. The strength of that college is the diversity and what we can do as a group together. When we come to our annual meeting, you can go to a talk from a basic scientist and then see a clinical presentation. You get to interact and have a richness and exchange of ideas across those disciplines. It is going to be important and vital for the college, especially if we are going to succeed in the changing environment to come, to make sure that all of our members understand the important role that they play. We are stronger as a group together. As the president, it would be my responsibility to make sure that all groups felt like they were included and not one group more important than the other. If fortunate to be elected president of ACSM, there are two main priorities that I would like to focus on. Certainly, there'll be many challenges with the healthcare environment to come, but we need to focus on a couple of set priorities to be able to move forward. The first is I would like to increase the visibility of ACSM at a world stage level. ACSM is the leader of health and fitness, but many people don't know about its existence because we don't do an effective job getting that information to the people that could use it. So I would like us to partner with other organizations, both like-minded from a sports medicine perspective, but other associated disciplines, whether it's endocrinology or cardiology, other successful partners that can help us get our message to the people that are most likely to use it and to need it whether we're going to be effective with commercials or social media and other outlets, it's going to be very important for us to take what we have learned and the knowledge we've accumulated and translate that effectively to people that they can use it to improve population and world health. The second priority is over the past couple of years, we've noticed a decrease in the number of our physician members. At this rate, we are in danger of taking the medicine out of sports medicine. One of my priorities is going to be to engage our clinician members, find out what types of things they need to feel engaged and feel like the college brings them value, and to help us recruit the next younger generation of physicians to be a part of the college. So two priorities, one is to increase ACSM's position and visibility on an international level, and the second is to effectively recruit and engage new physician members. It truly would be an honor to be elected the president of the American College of Sports Medicine, and I thank you for your consideration.